As in the previous video, we have covered link to SQL along with the basic operations like object relational mapping and the data retrieval. Now in this video, we will see how can you perform the DML operations in the database using link that is insert, update or delete. So let's start a practical implementation and we will cover the methods which will be helping us for the insertion and deletion process. So now let's start the implementation here. So here for making the DML changes, what we will do, we will just write some hard coded values and we will submit that on the table. Either it is for insert, update or delete. So I have already instantiated this data classes, data context class object, all right, with the name context. And this time I will work with the table called departments. As we have already imported, or I should say, I have already mapped this particular table TBL departments in the link used with the name department. So now I will do some operations in this particular table and will come back here to see the changes. So let's come back to the Visual Studio to write the code. And here, first of all, I will do the insertion in the table. So for that, what I'll do is department. DEPT is equal to new department. So basically whenever you will insert a new row that is a new object, a new instance will be created. So that's why I have taken a new department and after that you will have to pass some values in the properties of the department that is the department ID, department name and location ID. So you can pass that in either of the ways. Here I will use object initializer to initialize all the three properties. As I said, I'll be passing the hard coded values. So here I will say department ID as 20, department name as documentation and location ID. As location ID here is in the numeric form. So I will choose five for this. All right. So this is five. There may be some another table of locations in which the location ID would be having any city or the country. So here I just pass, I just need to pass the code which I did. All right. And now after that, what I can do is I'll say context dot departments. That is the property name. Now after that, I will say insert on submit context instance name and then dot departments which is the property which was already there in the context class and insert on submit is the method so right after that it will be looking for the object of department type which i will enter here as dept and then i will say at the end to make this uh, to save the changes that is submit changes all right so this is how we can insert a new record into the table so let me execute that and as soon as the page will be loaded at the background, these things will happen. In a better practice, you will have to create a UI for that in which you will put some controls like text box and then you can make the changes. But here my motive is to just to show you the steps how you can do that. And now in a real time project, you can start doing the insertions like that. You just need to replace these hard coded value with the text box or any control value. So let's come to the database to check that whether the changes are reflected or not. So I'll refresh it here and here you can see AT department with the name documentation and the location ID five is created. Now, if I want to make the updation in the current department or in any particular way, I'll just let me comment this first and then I'll do that. So here, first of all, I'll have to check like whether I'm going to update a single department or multiple. So let's start with a single. So here department DEPT is equal to now I'll not say new department because I'm not going to add a new because but I'm going to modify any existing one. So context dot departments dot and now I'll have to write a query. So let's say single or first anything. All right because I'll make sure that it will return me a single value. So D goes to D dot department ID is equal to 70. So basically I'm pointing 
to this particular department with the name operations. So what I want to do, I want to update the location ID. Alright, so for that what I can see here, dpt dot location ID that lock loc ID is equal to 6. If you want to modify multiple fields like department name as well, you can do that also like ops and then at the end you can just say context dot submit changes as we did earlier all right so let me execute this page as soon as the page will get loaded the result will be reflected so now when i'll execute this you can see the location id is now six and the department name is ops now let's see if i want to update multiple fields so how can i do that like for example i want to make changes in all those fields who have the location id 6 so here it marketing and operations that is ops now are the three departments in location 6 so how can i do that i'll just say where dpts context dot now here rather than using any of this I will use select sorry where, where statement and here I will use loc id that is location id and I want that location to be 6 as we know there will be multiple records and where can handle that so now after that I will use a for each loop for each dept in dpts I want to do the changes so what all changes I want to do let's do that so whatever the values are there department name is equal to 6 and then I will say department concatenate with the existing department name that is dp, dpt dot department name so this is the change what I want to do I want to change the department name so uh, I will do that inside a loop as soon as it is done I will submit the changes so let's execute that there should be three records affected page is loaded let's go and see the database now let's refresh it and here you can see 6 IT 6 marketing 6 ops this is what I did so similarly you can continue now if it's about deletion of the data then it's exactly in the same way like for example I want to delete the data either it's a single or multiple the way is going to be same as we did in the uh, update if it's multiple if it's single then you can do in the previous way as we did if you want you want to delete multiple you can just up follow this approach but rather than writing this particular line I will use some another line that is context dot departments dot delete on submit all right so here I'll have to pass the object that is dept which this for each loop will provide me so let's execute and obviously it will delete all the three records with department 6 make sure your database should not have any dependency in this particular case if there will be any dependency so the deletion will not be performed and similar case could be with the updation as well so let's refresh this and you can see all the three records with the location 6 have been removed so this is how you can start working with the DML and after creating a proper UI with some text boxes and some other useful controls you can perform the things even in a more effective way where you will not have to go for the hard coded values so this is how you can start performing the DML operation in the link to SQL